I was privy that it was a Sean Lockyer renovation, so I was incredibly excited. It was just, I get it, you know, it was just one of those moments where you go, I get what you pay for, and this is what you pay for. A leading architect like Sean creates something that just is, is an investment, but it's, it's awe-inspiring. And, you know, I've been doing this for 25 years. I remember running back to the office after seeing this property and talking to Lauren, my buyer's agent, and telling her, you are going to be amazed at this home. It is magnificent. Like that effortless chic. It's not something I've mastered in my personal life, <laughs> but Sean has certainly done this here. It's a classic colonial from the street. Late 1800s, there wasn't many homes around here when it was built in its day. Belimba House, it was part of the maid quarters for the, the historic home up the road. So it has its own history. But what I love about it, it's, it's even the choice of paint colors they've, they've used and the contrast that when you walk through the front door that you feel. It's that real element of surprise. There's not many times in life that we are surprised. So it's great when you come home to your house and you're constantly seeing these magnificent things that pop up and that's what Sean's so good at doing. A premier position, a thousand square metres, flat land in one of the best streets in Balimba, combined with number one Queensland architect. This is a, a true Lockyer. He was allowed to do what he wanted to do and was given an opportunity to create a forever home without restrictions and I think that's what an artist deserves. And also the owners who just wanted the ultimate forever home. We have this magnificent landscaping and beautiful feature walls, stone walls, concrete walls, soft lighting, the European oak flooring. It just all combines together to this magnificent piece. We are 719 square metres under roof, huge ceiling height, huge expansive open doors with lush greenery everywhere. There's two kitchens combined in one, so you have the main kitchen and then you have your scullery. Upstairs you've got a huge master retreat, it's the whole length of the back of the house. And then you also have another three bedrooms plus a media room plus an office, so there's lots of breakout spaces, which is so important. Oxford Street is having a massive transformation. There's some fantastic restaurants, rooftop bars, French patisseries, you've got the Oxford Street Ferry Terminal, I mean it's just a destination. Effortless chic. That's a hard thing to pull off. That really is, and that it is here.